Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu on Tuesday ordered a thorough investigation into a weekend military drone attack that killed at least 85 people and injured 66, about 100 miles north of the country's capital in the state of Kaduna. The figures are from the National Emergency Management Agency, though witnesses said more had died. Tanubu called it a bombing mishap, which he said was very unfortunate, disturbing and painful. The country's army chief apologized for the airstrike and promised to pay the hospital bills of those hurt. It hit residents of the Tudun Biri community, who were participating in an annual Malud Muslim celebration. We were celebrating Malud when the airplane came and dropped the bomb. Some died. Some got injured and we all ran into the house. When the men in the village heard what happened, they came out to check and that was when they dropped the second one and more people died. The incident highlights a pattern of deadly aerial assaults by the Nigerian military and is the latest in a series of attacks that have killed civilians, which was the subject of a special Reuters report in June. The area where the attack occurred has been grappling with kidnappings and killings by armed gangs, which security forces have been targeting using aerial strikes. Samuel Aruwan is the commissioner of the local state Ministry of Internal Security and Home Affairs. The Nigerian army was on a routine mission against terrorists, but uh, unfortunately, uh, some members of the Tudumbiri uh, community uh, were, uh, affect, uh, were affected. An army spokesman said that troops carrying out aerial patrols observed a group of people and wrongly analyzed and misinterpreted their pattern of activities to be similar to that of the bandits before the drone strike. That unfortunate incident of uh, Sunday the 3rd of uh, December 2023 that is grave, it's regrettable, uh, but we will do everything possible to prevent such an occurrence happening again in the conduct of our operations going forward. Mm -hmm. It's an unfortunate situation Nigeria has found itself in. Um, the impunity that continues to color security operations across the country continues, and especially on the part of the military, just the absence of justice and the absence of accountability just makes the whole thing even worse. Given the frequency in such incidents, Nigerians have lost faith in uh, security operations across, across the country. As of 2019, the Nigerian military and its sister security agencies were involved in 35 of the 36 states running one internal security operations or the other. As of 2023, every other state that was left out, in, which was the FCT and KB, have now been added to the security arena. For most of these operations where civilians are killed, there's an adequate compensation given to the families of the victims, especially when they are acknowledged. The problem with Nigerian security services is that, in the first place, they do not recognize that there's a problem. And the sheer frequency of these incidents mean that there is a culture of impunity by which these attacks and these operations are carried out. That accountability is simply not existent. So in the first place, the security services have to first of all be accountable to themselves. And this would mean in review of the internal mechanisms by which these operations are approved. Yes, sir. Wow. 
وتوصلنا اليك بحبيبك ورسولك وعزيز القدر انك سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم انت جعل الصواب ما قرانا ونور ما تلونا اللهم اجعلنا اللهم انه هو